Hi, this is Mike Buller. I'm with the Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. We're in Naperville, Illinois this afternoon with Janet Derrick, Executive Director of Naperville Cares. She is kind enough to uh, let us come in and chat a little bit with her and also put up with us for the well, time being. Thanks right, for Janet? Coming. Thanks for coming. Tell us about Naperville Cares. Uh, Naperville Cares, which stands for Community Acting in Response to Economic Stress, his mission is to provide short-term financial support and resources to meet the basic needs of local families in crisis. So, do you have a number of different programs, mm -hmm. Shannon? Yes, we do. What, what's that mean exactly, families in crisis, for the people that may be watching this? How do you guys qualify that, or what type of people qualify? Mm -hmm. Well, we have our, our biggest program is our emergency assistance program, and that is where people need help to pay something like their rent or utilities. Um, there are many reasons why people are in the situation. They're either underemployed or unemployed, um, or they've had a major expense that they did not plan on, a, a, an extra child care fee or a car repair. So they come and they, call, uh, they actually call us on the phone. We do a detailed application over the phone. It takes about 20 to 25 minutes over the phone. And then they need to uh, come in and provide some documentation that supports the uh, information they've given us. Um, so then we try to connect them with appropriate resources within the community. Um, so in an effort not to duplicate services, but to sort of complement what other area agencies are doing and to help fully try to fully resolve the crisis um, that this family is facing. Okay. So there are a couple of three different programs mm -hmm. that you guys actually address. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to tell us about them? Sure. Um, like, again, as I was saying, the emergency assistance program is where we do pay for some basic needs like rent, utilities, car payment, or child care. We have a car donation program. Um, being in the suburbs, the public transportation is very lacking, especially for people that don't make a lot of money. So we provide donated vehicles um, to families that qualify for the program. And then we have a rent uh, deposit program where people can, uh, they're trying to move into this area, they have enough to pay their monthly expenses, but they do not have enough for that initial security deposit that they have to spend. Janet, in light of the last couple of years with the economic mm -hmm. situation here, not only in the Chicagoland area, but across the country, have you seen an increase in need from various different families? Yeah, um, we, we've seen, seen a need from a couple of families. Um, the, the, we always have, in our, in our area, we definitely have some people that are low income. Um, and what's happened there in the past, they've been able to maybe piece things together with help of family and friends. But since that family and friends are all struggling, that, that help is really kind of dried up. The other issue is people that have been long-term unemployed um, or underemployed um, and their unemployment has run out, so we've definitely seen an increase in that. Um, and then also um, all the social service agencies are under major crunch because of the cutbacks in some federal state. programs, right. state programs. Um, next year is going to be a, a very difficult year because some federal funds that were in the community are now dried up. Um, there's been cuts to a major program um, called uh, Low Income Heating and Assistance Program. The federal government has just cut that by 50%. So the need for f uh, funding agencies like Naperville Cares is, is really, it's going to be a difficult challenge to make up those funds that have gone away. Well, you have some great supporters currently, mm -hmm. corporate supporters, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, our biggest, um, of, uh, biggest area where we get our funding is from our big event, um, which is Cuisine for Cause, which happens in April. Um, and also uh, Toasting for a Cause, which is in November. Our Cuisine for a Cause, our biggest sponsors have been in uh, Vesco. Um, they supported us this year. And then we have some other local companies that help. My Chef Catering, um, who has been a tremendous asset to us, um, as well as other agencies like Klein Hall & Associates, um, Harris Bank. Um, so we do get a tremendous amount of local support. Uh, the restaurants that come all... Um, we have 25 restaurants that come to Cuisine for Cause. They provide the food for free. And Sullivan's, who's been a tremendous supporter of ours, not only comes to Cuisine, but they host us for Toasting for a Cause. Um, also, local congregations are a big supporter of ours, um, as well as some, we get some, some City of Naperville grants, um, and then some foundation and, obviously, individual uh, donations we look for. Besides, uh, tell us the different ways that you try to get that message out. Do you use the traditional ways of marketing mm -hmm. and or. Right, and you know, uh, obviously we advertise, we have our Facebook page um, that we use. Um, uh, we use our website also to, to connect with people. Um, so we are, we're a relatively small organization. It's myself and a part-time office manager. It's mostly volunteer. So we are um, trying to expand our use of our social media, 
but um, probably our Facebook page is probably the, the biggest social media aspect of what we're doing now. And then obviously we get great support from the local NCTV and Naperville Sun um, and, you know, uh, Naperville Magazine. All the local uh, publications work with us very well. well. It's a worthy cause. It's a great community. I live here, mm -hmm. Naperville. And uh, how do people get a hold of you? Because not only the people that may be in need of your services, mm -hmm. but also people that may be interested in participating in this and giving something, whether it's back to the community, but because of the economic times, you need all the help you can get. Right. Um, we take donations directly on our website. Uh, it's www.naprovillecares.org. Um, on there, it actually it does have all our contact information. Um, for, for clients, they can call us at 630 three six nine zero two hundred six three zero three six nine zero two hundred okay um, or they can email us at contact at naperville cares dot org um, and then again our website does have all the contact information and that's www.naperville dot org that is correct very good thanks for putting up with us today Janet thanks, it's a real pleasure you. coming in and we'll see what we can get done for you thank you very good. Link locally, connect globally.